Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this rather colourful swell that I've got here in front of me. It's quite a simple and easy effect to use and can create quite a dynamic colourful background for websites or other images and text that you may want to apply to it later. The effect itself is quite simple and won't take you uh, too long to do. So first of all we want to go to File New, uh, that's Control N or the Option key and N on Mac. And we're going to set up our new document with a width of 400 pixels and a height of 400 pixels. And hit OK. And then just unlock the background layer, double tap it twice, hit OK. I'm going to select the gradient tool over here. And we're going to use a simple white to black gradient, starting at the top, going down to the black there. That will do. And then you want to go up to filter. You then want to go down to distort and select wave down here. Now you must get these next settings right otherwise you won't uh, get the uh, effect that you want. By all means play about with these after you've done this but for this tutorial these are the things we're going to use. We're going to use number of generators is 5, wavelength minimum of 10, maximum of 120, the amplitude of minimum 5, maximum 35 and the scale horizontal 100 by 100% and the type is going to be square and this option needs to be set to repeat edge pixels that should be default. Click OK and you'll get these stripes on yours uh, go to filter, distort, polar coordinates and make sure that rectangular to polar is set. If you click on polar to rectangular it's the wrong way around so you click that one. Hit OK and you'll get this effect. OK now what you want to do is hit uh, Control J or uh, the option key in J on a Mac to duplicate the layer or you can simply drag the layer down to the new layer that would do the exact same thing. So selecting our new layer we're going to go to edit, transform and rotate clockwise 90 degrees or 90 degrees clockwise. After you've done that go to filter, distort, twirl and we're going to use an angle of 100% of 100 even, 100% which will give us this. Change the layers mode to multiply. You can play about with this obviously to get the best effect, but I uh, I found that multiply seems to be uh, the the best for, uh, the best one for this type. After you've done that, we want to bring a bit of color into it. So create a new layer, and then I'm going to do another gradient overlay. So I'm going to select I'll select this one down here, which is one of the rainbow ones. I'm going to remove a few of the colors. I'm going to remove that and that use that blue. I'm going to keep all these colors the same, we're going to change them. Set that one to 25, set the green to 50, the yellow to 75, and that red there. These are the, def the default ones for this option here as well, this preset, and I'll hit OK. Now before, I'm at, before I drag it across, um, because of the size of the image, I mean you can make it bigger of course, but uh, because of the size of this image I'm actually going to use the rectangular selection, a uh, rectangular marquee tool even, over here and I'm just going to drag it round the image, make it slightly bigger so I can just move it into shape slightly. This means that we you know when I'm doing the gradient I can you know precisely get in the right place I want. Uh, leave that on there. Set the gradient tool again and I'm going to come in from about there to there which will give me enough of the other colours to fit. Again go to the, uh, the blend modes options and hit multiply and there you are. Simple as that and there's your nice effect. It looks it looks really nice. It's really simple as uh, hopefully you've just seen there, and you know that will look great on a you know, website background or you know just as some extra artwork. Thanks for watching the tutorial, and uh, uh, many thanks to all those new subscribers as well. Uh, keep checking up my new videos. Uh, one or two people have you know asked, um, do I do anything other than Photoshop tutorials? I did do a few uh, race driver grid videos before I started my Photoshop ones, so check those out if they're of any interest to you. If not, you know, please suggest uh, what you'd like me to do in video, in videos, tutorials, game reviews, games, just you know, anything you want, and I'll do my best to uh, do some videos on it for you. Thanks, guys.